It was just a gift. I mean, it's so rare that you get the chance to play a character that has, like you say, an arc like that, and goes from being this beautiful, fairly fragile, quite sort of um, almost mollycoddled. Like she's a princess. She's lived in the palace. That's all she's known. She's, you know, she, I mean, she can sort of fend for herself to a certain extent, but essentially she's grown up, you know, quite well looked after. And to go from that to then finding out that she has to save the world, which is huge, um, was a huge, obviously, massive moment for her. And then to take that further and to, to actually try and go through with that and then to try and save the world and in the process become strong and kick ass and like, brave and to find that in herself and to even for her to realize that she has that within herself it's just i mean i could go on and on and on and on but it was just yeah a dream it's been brilliant like i did my first signing yesterday um which was really fun because it's so nice to finally get a chance to meet everyone and see people and look in people's eyes and see how excited they are about the show because you you work on a show for sort of, I mean we worked on this for six months and you obviously naturally get so attached to the project and it becomes like a part of you and it becomes like a family and I mean you've had it a million times but it does really become this wonderful little bubble and it's like this precious precious bubble in your heart and then to finally take that out to the world and be like do you like my bubble? Or do, you like, do you like it or not? It's just so, um, yeah, such a beautiful beautiful thing and then to see people who are just as excited about your bubble as you are. I mean, I'm going on a really weird tangent here, but you kind of get what I mean. It's just nice to finally share the work that you've been working on and to see the excitement is incredible. Oh, it was just a dream, like, so cool. I mean, they have everything. They have, like, black sand beaches, and then they have thick pine forests, and then they have like white sand beaches and then they have waterfalls and they have mountains and you're sort of just you're spoilt for choice really like you walk out like your door and you're like oh okay well we could just film anywhere and it would just look amazing so yeah it's beautiful and also the people are so 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 wonderful out there they've got such like a relaxed laid back just great way of of just being and a perspective on life and i mean i'm generalizing massively here but they were just lovely I mean, as an actor, you just want things to be as real as they possibly can be. So if it's the choice between a green screen where you're having like a wind blower blowing like wind in your face and like dirt thrown at you um, with like loads of people like crouched around or if you're actually in a location where you're, you know, like riding along the beach and, you know, the sand's there and the wind's just doing its thing, and then you'd obviously always go for the latter because it just feels that bit more real. So. We were lucky enough to be filming somewhere where we had the option of doing that and it didn't all have to be green screen. Although having said that, we did a lot of green screen too. Um, but yeah, it was kind of, it was interesting doing both. We did heaps. We did, um, so we did three weeks before we started and we did horse riding every day and we did sword fighting every day and we did stud training and we did, um, what else did we do? like a bit of like martial arts and stuff so we we had like a jam-packed schedule every day for three weeks and we just all got into shape and we were like on our protein shakes and we were like you felt like you were almost like training up for like Spartacus or something <laughs> it was like it was epic um, but so much fun and like I'd never had the chance to do that as an actor like really really um, have to train up for a role but it was amazing it really got you into that headspace as well and it's so nice to be able to because because I love doing loads of written work and prep work um, so I like to go really deep into the research and really, really prepare really strongly in that way. So it was nice to sort of do that equally for my body and my mind and, you know, get physically like in shape before we started to. So, yeah.